So today we're looking at the phase relationships in an LRC circuit uh, capstone lab. So for this circuit, you need to, um, using the resistor, capacitor, inductor, network board, um, set up the board so that it's connected like the diagram here on the bottom right. Um, on our 850 universal interface, I'm using the A, B, and C analog inputs. And um, the instructions say to use D to get the voltage out. I'm actually going to um, do it a different way using um, the a feature from in, in, in the 850, and I'll show you how to set that up. Uh, so I'm going to skip over most of the theory and the setup. We're going to jump straight into the procedures. Uh, one thing to mention is to make sure that you're using these values on your board. Um, just want to point that out. If your capacitor is different or your inductor is different, then your uh, resonant frequency value is different. So um, looking at the procedure, what I'm going to do is um, this graph, it has a pre set up graph. I'm going to actually set, set it up all over again. Um, so I know channel A is connected over my resistor and channel D is the, I don't have a channel D. So let me actually unlock the workbook, click on these dots and hardware setup, and then hardware setup. I'm gonna remove this one and right, right click here and click output voltage sensor. All right, so here on my graph, I just wanna set this up again. Um, I'm going to click on this option and select output voltage. Now I want to hit monitor. And uh, the signal generator already has some values in here. It should be 30,006 volts amplitude. So that's what I'm seeing here. And if I want to add the, the other um, analog inputs on the same display, I, I can go here, add similar measurements, click A, B, and C. Uh, if you start running the experiment, you don't see any data moving, I suggest doing that exact thing. Just select output voltage and then go to add similar measurements and add ABC from there. Um, so you can see here, um, I am concerned with this, looking at the legend VO and VA. So it's going to be the red and the blue. And we can see that uh, because we set the output frequency to 30,000, um, using the equation one over two pi squared LC. Uh, we know it's around 30,000 hertz. Um, I haven't done the, I don't recall the, the value of the, um, of the, from the equation. But um, what the procedure tells us to do is to adjust the signal generator frequency uh, in 100 hertz steps to make the output phase zero. So I want these two in phase. A uh, simple way to do that is to look to see where they cross V equals zero at the same point. So we might have to zoom in to see that. But I'm going to highlight this digit and just use the arrow on my keyboard. Just going to go one step at a time. We can see the blue line shifting ever so slightly. And well, that looks right to me. So I'm going to zoom in here. Oops. And yeah, it looks like it's crossing, uh, if I hit stop, it looks like it's crossing um, the zero point at the same bit, at the same point. So I'll just click on this. So um, it tells us here, uh, we can click stop. And we also know that VR is less than V out because of this uh, resistance of the coil. And um, our resonance frequency is this value, 28100. That's mine, yours may be different depending on your components. Uh, but it should be around 30,000. And uh, it says click data summary to open it. So I'm going to um, click on data summary and 
I'm going to highlight the four data sets in our legend, and I'm going to click on Create Data Set, which is this button here. And it says to rename these four to resonance. So I'm going to right click each one, call it resonance. Once I've done that, it says adjust the signal generator frequency below resonance to a point where VR equals to four volts. So uh, VR is voltage over the resistor, which is our VA value. So I'm going to click monitor and I'm going to just change this so until I see this blue line, and my case is blue, go below four volts. Or reach four volts, should I say. And looks right about there. Going to press stop. And it says here, repeats. So if I click on the coordinates tool, I can move this to 4.03. That's, that's good. I like that. Um, and it says to repeat step four now. So here, again, I open the data summary. I click on highlight the four and click on the create data set. And again, I'm going to rename this to, uh, this time it's supposed to be called below res. All right. And same thing, we repeat it for when our, uh, the voltage of the resistor, so when VA is four volts above resonance. So let's go ahead and uh, hit monitor again. Go back to signal generator. And just increase this. Now highlight VA. Just jumping too fast. Looks like I might have to go the other direction and lowering the frequency. Ah, you know what? I'm going to come back to this step. Let me pause the recording. Ah, so uh, I misread the procedure. So what I have to do is I have to increase the frequency above um, our resonant frequency, which was around 28 kilohertz, um, so that to the point where uh, VR equals to four volts. So I'm just gonna keep going. This one's taking a lot longer. Looks about right. Stop and uh, use the coordinates tool. I just want to make sure the V max here. Three point nine four three. That should be about right. So I'm going to click stop and it says do the same thing. So I repeat the step 
Or actually, if I go to the next page, it'll say uh, to do the same thing. And this one will be above res. So highlight the four, and then click this. Go to data summary, and this is. Uh, so next step is yeah the instructions actually don't mention to label it above res but uh, we're supposed to be doing that uh, It says create a graph and put the voltage measurements from all four voltage sensors onto a single vertical axis. So if we're looking at this graph, I can actually go ahead and click on this and select resonance to get all four points. And let me, if I want to get the fourth one, I have to click on add similar measurement and I'll put voltage there. Um, to get all four of the runs on the same, oops, there. So I had to add VO and then go ahead and go back and reselect uh, resonance. So to get it on the same graph. And at, this is a point where what I'm going to do is I need to Let me pause recording. So the next step here is to um, get the delta T for when each of the lines passes over the uh, V equals zero axis. So here I can zoom in. Expand this out a little bit. So I'm going to add our coordinates tool. Uh, I'm going to add it to this point and then select the delta and I want to get the delta from when the t equals zero. Delta here is three microseconds. And I repeat that for V, um, sorry, VB, which is over the capacitor, or sorry, VB is over the uh, inductor, and VC is over the capacitor. This one's BC. Uh, so same thing, use a delta tool, so from t equals zero to where it crosses over the origin. Um, so let me click on, like, this is VC coordinates. Let me zoom out. And then the delta. About negative 12. 12 and so on and so forth and uh, the frequency here this was the resonance frequency that we were uh, that we recorded earlier in the video that we noted uh, and so going over to the voltage analysis uh, we do a similar thing where we so first I have to bring make sure select voltage out and then bring A, B, and C on here. And I only want to see resonance and take off monitor. And here, what we're doing is we're calculating the maximum, or we're using the coordinates tool to figure out 
our maximum voltage for each of the lines. So right now that I have this one selected, it's uh, v, this is VC selected, it's going to be this point. Uh, for VA, I click Delta tool or the coordinates tool. And same thing, just bring it right above to get the maximum value. And I do the same thing. So then later I'll hide resonance and add below res and uh, just record each of those values here. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions on this, please um, feel free to let me know. I hope the video helped out a little bit. Uh, otherwise, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you.